Well, a family in Ithaca is remembering their daughter by giving back to others. I sat down with them to learn how service is helping them as they grieve. We're always searching for ways to keep Rebecca alive. That's Gilde, Jessica, and Joe Ryan. Their daughter and sister Rebecca died two years ago. She was hit by a car after getting off the bus not far from their family home. It really has become just a way to remember and honor her. They're called blessing bags. It was her, her first energy that yeah. got us doing this. So I think it's been seven or eight years, but it's something that she saw on social media and she came to us and said, hey, let's do this, can we do this? Simple Ziploc bags filled with bottled water, socks, combs, and other essentials. It's just a small comfort. Um, it's not really probably going to change the, the world or maybe even their circumstance. A family now faithful to their daughter's mission. We're very intentional now, um, especially in this idea of doing small acts of kindness because that was really a lot of her personality. But beyond the acts of kindness, the reflection of a daughter gone too soon. Rebecca gave away her first bag, and I said, you know, what did you think? How did you feel? And she said, it, it felt nice. It felt good. I don't think we know if this is part of the healing, but we are moving forward. A family moving forward, one bag at a time. In Ithaca, Kurt Martone, WENY News. And so far this Lent, the Ryans have given out over 40 blessing bags in the Ithaca area and even got four family friends in on it, too. They say as the years go on, they'd like to make the practice bigger and bigger. What a wonderful way to remember their daughter. Yeah, so cool. Well,